Well folks, welcome to another home repair adventure. Today I'm going to show you how I recently had to restring our Bally pleated shade. That is, put a new string in because the old one was um, frayed and was jamming up all the time. Here's a uh, photograph of the uh, shade. On the one on the right is the one I had to repair. They're uh, soft uh, fabric. They kind of fold up into each other when you pull the strings up. Here's the um, close-up of the string, the frayed part of it. It's actually a double string, one inside the other, and uh, I've had several of these fail over the years, and once that happens, the outer part, uh, because it's braided, it uh, tends to uh, accordion up and gets all jammed up and doesn't want to move around. So it becomes harder and harder to, to uh, put the blind up and down. The materials I uh, required were uh, the spool of string. You can see it's so uh, well used. I've had to repair quite a few of these over the years. I need some masking tape to uh, hold things in place, uh, some scissors to uh, cut the masking tape, and then I wasn't sure because um, I've had to repair these before if I would need the eighth inch dowel or the uh, little bit of wire. Um, I've got some uh, picture hanging wire that has um, a number of uh, little pieces of wire and uh, sometimes in the past when the string broke uh, broke instead of just frayed I have to use a little piece of wire to thread this through the um, latching mechanism didn't have to do it on this one but I'll show you uh, just in case um, you ever run into this yourself how you might need a little piece of wire so first thing is I had to remove the blind I had to go up here on a step ladder and get to the top of the thing and uh, move the little lever over here, little red arrow shows you, uh, it just kind of swings around here and like that, this little thing swings around like that uh, per the red arrow and uh, there's one over on the left side too, I just showed the one on the right. Then I took the blind down and extended it out all the way on uh, our dining room table so I could uh, see what was going on and in this photograph you can see the frayed string right there and once that gets frayed it kind of jams up every time you try to move it. First thing I had to do was uh, get rid of the uh, old string um, by starting with this little cap here. Unscrew the cap, I don't know what you call that thing, to get the uh, heavy pull string over on the right off of the uh, two little pull strings that uh, make the blind go up and down. Then I uh, pulled enough of the string out of the caps to uh, make sure that I had the little uh, washer and the uh, top part of the cap itself so that I could cut this the uh, knot off and get the washer and the little cap uh, loose. We're going to have to thread the new strings through that uh, in a much later step. So then I uh, made sure I had enough string by uh, unspooling enough to get all the way down to the uh, stretched out uh, bottom of the blind. Then I took the uh, old string the one on the left there, a little dirty one, and I stuck it on top of a piece of uh, masking tape and then take the, took the end of the new string, which is still on the spool, and uh, stuck it up against the old string uh, on the sticky side of the tape. Then I just folded it over so that effectively this becomes a splice between the old and the new string. And uh, by squeezing it really tight, um, I can get these two things to stick together. Now I had to cut the uh, top part, uh, extra flap off of this thing, and then roll the uh, other piece, the um, the splice, roll it around in your in uh, your fingers in order to get this down as small as possible, so that I could pull it with the old string through the little catch mechanism, which has this goofy little serrated wheel inside uh, that really wants to hold that string, depending on which way the little wheel flops around. So I can use the old string to uh, pull the new string through this mechanism, and boy does that help. And you'll also notice that I taped down the second old string onto the desk, because uh, or onto the table, because when you pull this uh, new string through, using the old number one string, uh, it wants to pull that uh, second string through and you don't want that to happen because then you have this problem of trying to thread a piece of string through that little catch mechanism. It's really, really difficult to do. And by having these two pieces spliced together, it's very easy to pull the uh, old string and thus the new string down through all these little um, 
notches or little cuts in the folds of the cloth. Finally, I can pull it all the way down to the uh, plastic uh, lift bar at the bottom of the um, unit itself. And you can see uh, the splice right there in the center of the picture, but there's also another little piece of blue tape over here, tape applied to the frayed part of the old string, because I couldn't pull the old string down through because the uh, frayed part kept jamming up. So I had to effectively um, kind of wrap the uh, frayed ends of the old string so I could pull a new string through. And once I did that, then I could cut the new string and tie a new knot in it uh, so that it couldn't pull back up out of the uh, hard bottom bar. Then I uh, came back up to the top and um, made sure I had enough um, extra string to uh, fool around with um, on the new piece. And I cut it off of the spool and then taped it down so it wouldn't go anywhere. And then you'll notice the uh, piece of tape up here on the left-hand side. That's the second new, uh, the second old string, which uh, I also replaced by doing, guess what, splicing it uh, to the new piece of string and pulling it through. So now I have two new strings pulled through that little catch mechanism and pulled all the way down to the bottom of the uh, hard bar, just like the first one. Then I uh, made sure I had enough uh, slack on uh, the new second string before I cut it. Threaded them both through the uh, top cap and the little washer and tied a, a, a knot. Now this was the uh, option that I've had to do on a number of uh, the older shades. Uh, I used the eighth inch dowel um, to uh, go behind the string that's coming through that little uh, flap because the little flaps there uh, tend to get very frayed and some of them will tear through and then the string is loose. It doesn't uh, go through the flap. So by putting a little piece of dowel uh, behind the string, um, it keeps the, the string internally inside the flap. Didn't have to do that on this one. I just put a picture up so you can see how you can get around having the string tear through those little flaps. So then I put the blind back up and you'll notice that the uh, strings are no longer exactly equal. I, that's why I left so much slack because I knew that this would happen. I've done this a number of times before. So I um, uh, equalized them, uh, slid the cap and the little um, washer up reasonably close to the top bar. Uh, cut the string, tied a new knot, and then put the, the uh, bottom part of the cap, the uh, heavy pull cord, um, back in. I screwed them back together. Now this is uh, one of the uh, other options. If the string breaks, which I've had happen on occasion, you, can, uh, you can't uh, splice the old and the new uh, string together. So you have to uh, use a little piece of wire to a bendable piece of wire to get around that uh, latching um, serrated little wheel and it's impossible to do it with just a piece of string. It's like pushing a wet noodle around. Um, so you have to splice in somehow a piece of wire that you can use. Now in this case I haven't folded the um, sticky um, uh, tape over. Just wanted to show you that you, you have to somehow get some kind of threading device in order to get through that uh, that little uh, catch wheel, and that's how I, this is how I've done it in the past. Just use a real thin piece of uh, reasonably stiff um, wire. In this case, it's uh, just picture hanger wire. I just took one of the uh, individual little wires out of the bundle. So that's my story, and I'm sticking with it. Uh, these are really easy to fix, uh, particularly if you do it before the string completely breaks. Otherwise, you have to figure out how to stuff that thing through that little catch mechanism. Real easy, as long as you have some uh, some tape and uh, the string isn't broken. So 10-4, Roger Rubber Ducky, thanks for watching. Over and out.